Thoughts on what you've seen from Gabe so far in practice? Yeah, he, uh, progressing nicely. Uh, I know, you know, it's one of those things when he left our lineup back in Mankato, that was a big loss for us. But other guys have stepped up and, and did a really good job. Ethan Frisch has done a really good job. Andrew Pesky, Johnny Taconic, those guys have really done a good job of adding minutes and playing very well. But, you know, uh, just having some patience with Gabe and, uh, you know, his, his injury, it was pretty severe to the fact where he needed some time. And just kind of watching the last two weeks, he's progressed into, into a situation where we just got off the ice today and, you know, he looks looks good. He looks back to normal here. And, you know, part of that is watching him shoot a puck before he could hardly get any velocity on it. And now he can he can rip it. And, uh, you know, uh, I probably see him back uh, the USA game for sure here in a couple of weeks. Do you think you guys want to work him back into the power play? I know that's been going pretty good lately, but he was part of that. Yeah, you know what? And that's a good thing to have, have options like that. And, you know, the guys that are on it right now have been doing a good job. But, you know, he does bring an element back there of a guy that can get pucks through and a guy that can see a play and make a play. And, um, yeah, we'd like to do that. And I think part of that is trying to gradually get him back into it and, uh, and, and get him some reps at it. But yeah, having him as an option would be a pretty good option. What do you think of the, the power play so far this, this season and how it's progressed? Well, after we, we believe it's building and growing. And, uh, you know, part of that, and I think I talked about it before, Brad, is that, you know, we haven't really bounced around with personnel like in probably years past. You know, we've been kind of putting guys in and out and not giving them a chance to, to have chemistry together, or, you know, feeling feeling as a five-man group and you know for the most part we've left those guys together and and they've built and grown and you know if you would tell me that one is more dominant than the other I, I I'd probably say I'd beg to differ because I think both of them on each and every night you know step up and make plays and and that's nice of just not having one unit that people can kind of guard against you have a couple of units that can be a threat and and it pushes each other too to have be competitive that way too so uh like the way they're doing they got to keep growing and building and uh, and again I think we have some opportunities here in the next two three weeks to try to keep building that. With three weeks off, just what's the plan for practices and preparation? Yeah, great question. Uh, just talking with Mark Pullman, and we listen to him a lot, you know, just as far as, you know, our, our where we're at with our bodies, with injuries and energy level. And, you know, we, he, he seems to think that, you know, over this, this current week right now, practice three days and, and uh, you know, kind of have a system where we're maintaining our bodies without any heavy physical exertion uh, and just keeping our, our bodies in shape uh, on the ice. Next week, you guys are going to go through finals week, and you know they'll be. We'll practice three more times, and we'll step up our intensity and and our uh, compete level and practice a little bit uh, before we make a break for for the Christmas holidays. This year, it's a shorter uh, Christmas break than we had last year. Well, last year we had a pretty extended break, uh, and I'm glad we're a little bit shorter this year. That you know the guys will get to spend time with their families at home, recharge. But we'll be back right away, and then get back on a plane to get out to Michigan to play the US 18. So uh, we methodically have a plan here, and and, uh, and hopefully it'll be a good one leading into the second half. Going back to the Western series, uh, with all the physicality you endured in that series and um, with all the penalties you had to kill off, particularly in the first game, um, do you think if things continue to progress the way they are, that's a series you'll look back on and say that kind of changed your team for the better? Yeah, you know, I, I would say that'd be one of them. You know, Minnesota would be one of them. Denver would be one of them. Like each and every one of those series are a little bit different. And, uh, you know, that was one of the messages that we talked about was, you know, we've had a pretty good record at home. Uh, we want to replicate that uh, on the road and, and make sure that we can be a team that can not only win at home, but win on the road because we need to do that in the second half and in the postseason. Uh, but the other message was, uh, any type of game that is presented to us, whether it's an up and down game that, like the Thursday game in Minnesota uh, to a tight checking game in a small area in, in Western Michigan, a hard heavy series, that our guys have adapted to that style of play and, 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 and believe that they can win a game that's presented to them on, on, on any different platform. So uh, I think a number of, of situations of having belief and confidence that you know we can not only win at home, but on the road in whatever type of game that is played. With all the big wins and big series you guys have had uh, through this first stretch, was there one game, one moment where it kind of clicked for you that this team was special this year? Yeah, you know what? Uh, I think there's a number of them, but the chicken wing night in uh, in in Denver, you know that. I think it typifies kind of the team first mentality that we have here, you know, and again, there's, there was a lot of those, those moments. And, and for me to remember each and every one, I'll have to probably take a little bit of time, but having a guy like Josh Rieger, who's a team first guy to come in the lineup with no preparation time at all and scoring a goal, making a big impact guy, guys believe and they feed and they grow off that and they get better and they, 
I don't know, that was kind of a defining moment in the first half for us, I think. Your freshman, Pinto Caulfield, have really taken a step. Just what have you seen from the new guys now that they've adjusted in this first half? Yeah, no, they've, they've grown and, uh, you know, they know the level now. And, you know, you can talk about it all you want as far as to a young guy to say, hey, this is coming down the road and this is what the NCHC is about and this is what college hockey is, playing against older guys. But until you really go through it, the practices in the games, uh, that's how you experience it. And those guys have pretty good experience now, and they're getting better. Each and every one of those guys, when you think about the Caulfields, the Blaisdells, the Shane Pintos, Ethan Frisch, those guys have gotten better and better and better. And that's a big thing uh, uh, you know, going forward into the second half. What are your thoughts on sending those guys, uh, JBD and Pinto, to the World Juniors here? Yeah. I, I, a great experience, you know. We're gonna wish them all the best. You know, they're going. JBD's just finishing up his tryout here. I think it ends today or tomorrow on the on the tryout side, and we wish him the best in making that team. And Shane Pinto leaves this weekend, and uh, we feel feel firmly that they have great chances. They have a great body of work this first half of the season to to make that team. But you know, obviously, they got to do it in the tryouts. But you know, wish each and every one of those guys good luck. And we feel that you know, when you lose a player, we don't like to lose a player over the short term. But uh, we feel that it's an investment, meaning that. We feel we get a better player back in the second half after gaining that international experience playing on a national, international uh, uh, stage uh, of trying to win a gold medal. And uh, uh, it'll be tough because you got USA against Canada, and that opens up on the 26th of December. But we'll be cheering for both those guys.